Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. How are you today? I have filmed this video uh, at least twice before. <laughs> today is the start of a brand new day. It is Tuesday the 20th of November and I am starting keto again. <laughs> I have filmed this before and it hasn't worked out. I'm doing it now and I'm going to do a weekly vlog because I really enjoyed it when Crispy did the weekly vlogs of her keto weight loss journey. So I'm gonna take you on this journey with me. It's very icy. I honestly don't know, but I feel so sick. Dean, how much weight do you think that I lost in my first week on keto? Show you everything that I eat and uh, share my weight loss with you. <laughs> Over the past couple of months, I haven't been in a very good state of mind. I am happy to say like I'm doing a lot better, like so much better, but I still do have some bad days, but I feel like I'm ready to start this again. To be honest, like I just was eating whatever just to get me through, like literally <laughs> about a month ago. Dean and I just decided to eat cheap try and save as much money as we could and we saved money but let me tell you like eating cheap isn't healthy <laughs> we were just buying like the cheapest things we could while I'm embarrassed like I'm not even ashamed because it's my body I got through a really tough time but I have put on since my lowest I've put on about 11 kilos which is crazy and I think in the last two months I've literally put on eight of like I've put on a kilo per week it's fine I can deal with it and it's a good thing that I saved all my big clothes because I am wearing them again this morning my starting weight I'm embarrassed to say this I'm, I'm not ashamed I'm embarrassed 77.3 so at my lowest I was at like 66 so let's go. Um, this morning I've had breakfast, so I'll insert those clips here. So today I'm going to make an omelette for breakfast. So I'm putting some olive oil in the pan and then I have some frozen bacon pieces that I'm just going to chuck in there. So now I'm just going to get two eggs. I'm gonna whisk up two eggs. I'm also going to chop up some little mini Roma tomatoes and an asparagus. Now I'm gonna just pop on some cheese and then just let it cook for a little bit and then flip it. Here's my omelette, albeit broken, with a cup of tea for breakfast and water and yeah. And uh, for lunch I have a quiche. So the other day at the supermarket I didn't intend to do start keto so I bought heaps of stuff and I actually bought like this big quiche for like $10 and I'm like that'll be my lunches. So what I'm going to do is actually not eat the pastry but eat the inside of the quiche. So there's the quiche. Yeah, just not eat the pastry. I didn't have time to make any veggies. It's Tuesday today and I'm working all the rest of the week. I'm hoping that I can just be really prepared. I'm gonna head off to work, but I will be back on the vlog tonight to show you my dinner. Hey guys, um, I'm home from work and I'm just going to get dinner on. I actually put some marinade on some chicken. I did this before I realized I was going to do keto. This is like a great way to start keto. It's just like, this isn't keto, but I'm gonna have it anyway. This is the Nando's Peri Peri Marinade in Lemon and Herb. Mm, carb counting per serving is 1.3 and sugars is 1.1. So it does have sugar in it. So that's been marinating all day. So I'm gonna sear that up. Also going to steam some veggies. All right, so here is my dinner. Uh, chicken, 
with the marinade and then we have some broccoli, asparagus, beans, cauliflower, capsicum and then just some butter on top to just try and add in some fat. I have some leftover veggies and um, also chicken which I'm going to use for lunch. This looks so gross. This is the <laughs> quiche that I had left over and I just took out the pastry. Oh, I left that bit in there. And I'm just going to pop some veggies with that as well. This is what I had for lunch today. <laughs> Looks delicious. Okay, so that is day one down. I've just been doing some editing and it's nearly nine o'clock and I'm just gonna take off my makeup and go to bed because I'm very tired and I have to work tomorrow as well. <laughs> I did forget to mention that at work I had some cashew nuts as a snack and I have resisted dessert. I've just been literally eating whatever I want with no restrictions the last couple of months. Like literally whatever I want, whatever I want. I guess, you know, you can't. You can't do that. <laughs> anyway, I'm ready to do this. I'm not going to be logging things in an app because I just, basically I can't be bothered. <laughs> I can't be bothered weighing everything and, and just being obsessive over it like that. I think it's good when you start and I potentially I should be doing it. I know I should be doing it. And it is really beneficial to do it when you start just so you have a better understanding of what you are putting in your mouth and what you're feeding your body. I'm just beyond that at this point and I know what I need to eat. It's funny because I've started keto like a few times as I said, I've started it so many times. Each time I'm like, oh, well, you know, I'll just have like two squares of chocolate or I'll just have these treats because they're okay. But when I first started keto, I was having literally no sweets. I was having berries and cream, but like no chocolate or anything like that. And I just need, I need to be that strict again where I just, you know, oh yeah, the, that first bit of chocolate was good. So let's have four more. Like I can't do it, like even though it's 78% or 80% dark chocolate, like I just, I'm not going to do that this time. So I'm just going to be really strict. My mouth is watering talking about chocolate, <laughs> but I just need to be strong. So I'm nearing the end of Aunt Flo. I think that's a good time to start because like all my cravings have kind of finished. Yeah, I think I'll do good getting the, you know. I don't know. Is there a good time to start keto? I don't know. Probably yesterday. But I did feel bloated this afternoon or after dinner. I don't know if it's because I've really, like, I've had a lot more water today than I usually um, have previously had. Anyway, we will, we will see you tomorrow and every day after that. Okay, I'll see you then. <laughs> hey guys, it is the next day. Uh, what is it? Wednesday the 21st? of November. Oh my God, I'm having so much trouble with the day. I'm getting ready for work, just about to make another omelet. Yesterday, Dean went to the supermarket, so we've got a few things more than I had yesterday to put in the omelet. Oh my God, I hate it when they do this. Oh my God, seriously. You're nearly there, you're nearly there. Oh my God, stop. <sighs> so I'll just set, oh my God, don't roll back into it. I'll just, although that's a really big half, um, I'm just going to dice it up. It's a really big half of a little onion. Next up, um, asparagus. Now, I know some people say, oh, you don't need to chop up the end, but I can't eat this end bit. Like, it's just gross for me. I don't know. Okay, so we've got that. Need to put some oil in the pan. I get these bacon pieces. You can only get them at Coles now, but they're the primo ones. And in my opinion, they're the best ones that you can get. And I just freeze them and then take them out as I need them. I just put them into like a plastic bag and I break them up just so that they're a bit easier to pour in. So you're not pouring in a whole frozen chunk and trying to divide it in pan. Okay, so back over to the chopping board. I'm going to take some mini Roman tomatoes. And I'm just going to chop them up. Now, I did quarters yesterday, but I still think that they could be a little bit smaller. I'm not the biggest fan of tomato, um, but these ones are not too bad. Like they're pretty much the only tomato that I'll eat. I was gonna do some spinach, but I think that this will be pretty big as it is. As you can see, I have a lot in there. I didn't mean for that to happen, but I'm gonna pour in the egg. 
just gonna let that sit for a bit and then I'll pop some cheese on top like I did yesterday. So cheese time. And hopefully I do this better than yesterday. I don't think it's gonna work out actually. Ah! Love it. Wow. <laughs> stuffed it up a little bit. Okay, then we are going to just pop it on the plate. And there is another omelette. There is my breakfast. I made a cup of tea as well, so I'll have that with it. So here I've got my lunch. So I just did leftover chicken with veggies and some butter on top. Now I have this quiche. I'm just gonna take it to work and if I get like peckish, like for morning tea or afternoon tea or something, I can have like a little bit of it. So here is my dinner. I have veggies with some butter and then chicken, which just has like some um, herbs and stuff on it. It is end of day two of keto. Today had breakfast. Breakfast, and then I had my lunch, my chicken and vegetables with some butter. And then I had some cashew nuts because I was still kind of hungry. I didn't eat all the chicken because it was kind of like meh. You know, like leftover chicken is never really that good. It got to around like 2.30 or 3 or something. And I was still, I was like hungry. So I ate the quiche, not all of it. And then had that for dinner, which you just saw. I haven't had any dessert. I haven't had any chocolate. And like I'm really craving it, but I'm just like, nope, nope, you're not doing it. I feel pretty good. Last night I went to bed really early and I woke up early. I think it's going okay. Now tomorrow I will make my breakfast and then if I go out for lunch, I'll just have a salad. And then we have like a little event tomorrow night. They have canapes, so I don't know if we'll be able to like go out for dinner as well and maybe I can get a steak. You know, when you go to events and stuff, you just don't know what food is going to be there, what you can eat, what you can't eat. That is day two of keto. I feel fine, like I feel good. I guess, you know, keto flu is just gonna probably hit in uh, three days. <laughs> Pray for me. Also, I know like this is like a food vlog, but I just wanna show you some flowers from my garden. Oh yeah, I had like the lights on cause I filmed a um, Priceline haul and I was just like editing it and stuff, so. So these ones are from my garden. I forget the name of them all, except this one. This one's called Blue Emotion. I remember that one. Um, oh, what is this one called? It looks very much like a David Austin. It's not. How beautiful is it? Oh, and then there's that pink one. Although the lighting isn't very good. It's like so dark and gloomy outside. Raining and awful. Blech. And then these are my birthday flowers from Tanya. I put them in a vase because they're in a box. I think that the box, like with the foam stuff, doesn't make them last very long. So I put them in a vase and uh, they seem to be doing a bit better. But they're still pretty. Thanks, Tanya. <laughs> yes, I know you want attention. You haven't had any love all day because I've been at work all day. She hates me being at work. Look at her fluffing her tail around. Huh? Come on, you want to do a roll? For those who watch my vlogs and have watched them for years, Coco does this thing where she does a roll. Come on, do your roll. Come on, do your roll. Quicks. Good girl. And then she just wants her belly rubbed. Hey girl, look at her, she's so pretty. I will see you tomorrow. Good morning everyone, it's Thursday 22nd of November, it's my birthday. <laughs> uh, I've just gotten ready for work and I'm just about to make some breakfast. Yeah, the dishwasher's on, so that's that noise. I don't have a lot of time today, I'm running a little bit late. I think that maybe I'll just make some bacon and eggs because that is quick. I take the rind off because it's just like there. I don't like it. Oh, he's gonna hate me. I'm eating all of the bacon that's left. But it's my birthday, so I don't really care. <laughs> oh no, I broke the yolk! Or is that a double yolk? I think that that's a double yolk. Oh no, I broke the yolk again! I really, really hate yolk. I only eat it if it's like all together. There you have it. Bacon and eggs. Not to my liking. Good morning guys. 
is the next day. I need to do my makeup because I'm running really late. I forgot to vlog uh, yesterday night. It was my birthday yesterday and I'm sure I told you in the morning. So Dean and I went out for lunch. We went to Snits and I got a Caesar salad. I have a photo of it. A Caesar salad with lemon and pepper chicken. Instead of getting a schnitzel, it's crumb free schnitzel. I also get it without the croutons. It was really, really yummy. That's what I usually get if I forget my lunch or whatever. Then after I finished work, Dean and I actually went to High Point Shopping Center because they have this new little activation station kind of thing where you can take pics and hang out. It's called Center's Beach Club and um, we were invited to go along for like the first little opening thing of it. We got there and they had this huge table spread. I actually put some of it on my Insta stories. There's a lot of stuff we couldn't have. Those grazing tables are so good. This one had cheese that I ate, some blueberries, they had strawberries. I only had one strawberry and I had about maybe three blueberries. I had a handful of pistachios and I think I only had one walnut. I'm not that big of a fan of walnuts. There were a few cheeses dipped in honey, but I'm not a fan of like soft cheese, like camembert. And so after that, we went and had some dinner. We went with Tanya, and Tanya's doing keto as well. So it was good that there was both of us, so we could just, you know, eat the same. At High Point, there weren't too many places that we could go, because we just stayed around that like restauranty area. I know that there was grilled and snits, but like I already had that for lunch. Went to La Poqueta, and I got steak with vegetables. I got a ribeye and this is what I'm annoyed that I didn't vlog because I got a ribeye and it came with seasonal vegetables and I asked for garlic butter instead of like a sauce, like as my sauce I should say. Oh my god my mouth is watering. <laughs> the garlic butter came out in this bowl. It was melted and oh it was so good and I was like really hungry because it was like 8 o'clock at that point probably like a little bit too late to eat kind of thing but I smashed it the veggies were there was a bit of carrot there was broccoli there was heaps of zucchini which was great there was some cauliflower capsicum which was really good there was celery but I'm not a fan of celery so I just doused everything in the garlic butter and it was delicious like I smashed it I inhaled it it was really fun and I had like one of the best birthdays that I've had in a long time Dean got this book made for me. I'll have to show you what later. It's like a kid's book, but it's tailored to be of Coco and Dean and I. Like, it's really, really cute because obviously, like, we're obsessed with Coco. She's our little fur baby. Okay, so makeup all done. So we had dinner, came home, and I'm very tired because we live like an hour and a half from High Point. And we didn't get home until nearly 11, and I've been going to bed so early lately. So today is a Friday. I didn't have any bacon because we didn't get any new bacon. Are you gonna get up? Come on. Say hello. Good morning. Yeah. Hello. So I think I'm just gonna make maybe an omelette again for breakfast. I have to finish off some stuff on a video. Then for lunch, we are getting burgers. We get them from like this little cart guy and they're so good. So I'm getting a chicken burger, but with no bun. And then for dinner, we have some mint. So I'm gonna make some pasta, but make uh, zoodles with it because I got some zucchini the other day. I've just been feeling so good. Like I wanna do Vlogmas, but I also don't wanna let people down if I can't do it. Honestly, the last time I said I was going to vlog for a whole month was on our vlog channel and that was honestly the downfall of the vlogs. Like I said I was going to do it and I did it. I didn't do it very well, but I didn't want to do it. I thought that by doing it, it would make me feel like I wanted to do it and it kind of backfired. <laughs> the last thing that I want to do is not feel motivated or like I want to vlog because right now I do, but I'm just really, really scared and hesitant. I'm also excited because I'm enjoying this so much right now. Like I just feel the timing is right. Here's my omelette for breakfast. I've seen this before. <laughs> and here's my flowers from Rachel. Aren't they gorgeous? They're so cool. They're so unique. I love them. My flowers from Tanya are doing really well. Like the roses are just opening. And I got some from Dean yesterday, but I haven't brought them home. I'll bring them home tonight. I love flowers so much, if you couldn't tell. <laughs> and these are the ones from my own garden. Oh no, don't fall out. 
That one's um coming out a little bit more. While I remember, yesterday I had such a bad headache and it was day three of keto and I think it was sugar withdrawals. So I expect keto flu to hit me hard uh, today or tomorrow. <laughs> Not looking forward to it. I am taking some supplements. I'm on a magnesium complex and also some organic zinc. Hopefully they help me because I don't think that I've been taking them previously when I've been on keto. I don't know if you can tell, but it's raining. It looks so crappy outside. Even the thing there has like flown over. Hey guys, I just got home from work and quickly got changed and went out in the garden and picked some flowers. I know you guys are like, why are you showing us flowers? It's a keto vlog. It is because I'm so proud. So these are iceberg roses and um, these are a few from like the side. So got a few of those nice ones and then a purple one and then like a pinky kind of one and then these are the flowers that Dean got me for my birthday aren't they just like so pretty so I'm gonna put them in a vase I did have these two flowers here that one and then this one from our garden at work but I brought them home because I thought that they'd die on the weekend and I'd rather just enjoy them <laughs> Yes, Koki! I know, she wants attention. Here's my dinner. I have zoodles, which are lightly steamed, and then some pasta sauce, and parmesan on top. This is what I'm having for dessert. Just some organic mixed berries from Oob. They're frozen, and I've just defrosted them in the microwave. And then I have just some dollop cream on top. I haven't measured this out. I know that this is a big serving, but I feel like a big serving, and I haven't had any, like, cheat. Not cheap, but like treats this week at all. Morning guys, it is Saturday today and uh, I've been lucky enough to be cooked breakfast from Dean. We have bacon and eggs and then I just put like a cheese slice in there. And then I have a cup of tea as well. Okay, we're just out for lunch and I just got a steak and it came with some roasted cauliflower and parsnips, I think. So hopefully this is okay. And then it's just got some like salad on the top. In got a palmer. I'm so jelly. Okay guys, so we're on our way to the Romswood Peony Farm. We just had lunch before, so that's what I showed you just before, but I don't think I talked to you. So this morning I just filmed some videos and yeah, we're just on, on the way. Oh my god, on the way here I felt so sick because the roads are so windy. Yeah, I feel a lot better after lunch. So yeah, I'm just here with Dean. <laughs> so we just got to the peony farm and we've just like walked through their garden and they're absolutely stunning. There's just some peonies up in the back here. They're so pretty. That one's so pretty. I think a lot of them have already been picked by the looks of it, but um... Oh, they're so gorgeous. But like there's just... This is just one section of it. And we just walk through gardens through there and yeah and then there's some um food and drinks and stuff through here so i think we'll go through here how gorgeous is this tree by the way i don't even know what it is it's so stunning so there's all gardens through there and it's just so pretty <laughs> and dean's got his coke <laughs> so gorgeous and all these big trees like look at this just massive tree like it's so big i love it it's so cute here okay here is dinner so we have a salad with spinach chicken thigh some pumpkin pie nuts bacon onion There's parmesan didn't you put bacon in it you can tell me put bacon in it oh no what happens and i might put some dijonais mayonnaise on it as well now that you've said bacon, it sort of makes sense. Well, okay, so I am about to just take off my makeup. I just finished filming a first impression, so I just ripped off my lashes, and I'm like, frick, I needed to do an update for my keto. Today was day five, I think. This morning I felt really, really sluggish, and I felt like, you know, a really brain dead, and today I felt really, really sick traveling in the car, and it's... I don't usually feel that sick. Usually when I get keto flu, it's day five. I had a headache as well. Like I had all of the symptoms. It didn't last throughout the day. Like I actually feel pretty good now. I have been taking the supplements, so there's a good chance that they may have helped me transition.
condition or I've had something that's kicked me out of ketosis. I don't know about those parsnips that I had today. They're probably too carby. I know I'm going to get like a million things saying you shouldn't have this, you shouldn't have that or the pumpkin was too carby. Like I know that I'm going to get that. It's still working for me. Like I know it is even though I haven't weighed myself. I know that this works for me and I'm not being strict, super strict keto. I just don't think that I need to be. Maybe I've, I've passed the keto flu stage because on Friday in the afternoon heaps of stuff went wrong at work. I just, I, after lunch, I just could not be fucked to be honest. You know, one of those days where like everything goes wrong and you're just like, I can't be bothered. I also felt a bit brain dead and had a headache as well. I thought it was sugar withdrawals, but um, maybe it was part of my keto flu. I'll see how I feel tomorrow, because I feel fine now. I've just been working and editing, getting stuff done. So then I can relax the rest of the night, although it is now like after nine o'clock. So that's where I am with keto day five. You know what's funny is our scales are really low on battery. I wasn't gonna weigh myself until Tuesday. I went to weigh myself this morning, just like a little cheeky check and it they're dead like it just kept coming up low 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 I would have tested it like 30 times and every time low it just wouldn't work so I'm not much away myself until Tuesday <laughs> anyway that's it for me today I'll see you tomorrow good night princess why are you giving me this look huh you've been asleep all day She's such a little miser. Look at her. Look how pretty she is. I love you. Yes? Oh, this is just why I love cats so much. You're a good girl. Morning guys, it's Sunday today, keto day six. I think I'm gonna try and make a smoothie for breakfast because I don't feel like bacon or eggs. Koki! What's up? So, so I just realized we don't have any ice. <laughs> so I'm just gonna have to wait half an hour for some ice to be made. Okay, so I'm gonna make a smoothie. I have some ice, which isn't very icy. <laughs> I'm gonna add in a third of a cup of blueberries and some spinach. Like honestly, these things suck. Like how are you meant to get them off? Like it just doesn't come off, hun. Like at all. <sighs> Got it off with my teeth, but okay. So I'm gonna put in a third of a cup of thickened cream. I don't actually have any almond milk or like coconut milk. So I'm just gonna put in like a little bit of actual milk because that's all I have. And maybe I should put in some water as well. Okay, I'll just put in a little bit of water. I haven't made a smoothie for ages. I don't have any vanilla protein powder. It's just gonna have to be this. <laughs> okay, well, this is just gonna taste like shit, isn't it? <laughs> okay, let's try it. It's very icy. Doesn't have too much flavor. It definitely needs vanilla protein. It's not that bad. It's very creamy with the cream though. Yeah, it's okay. This is what I'm gonna have for lunch. I have a, a Slendia spaghetti and then some leftover pasta sauce from the other night. Okay, so here's my lunch. So I had half of the pasta. Actually, that spaghetti that I used, it wasn't right. It was like all mushy and stuff. So I've used some Alfredo of the same slender pasta or slender or whatever it's called. And then I've just had some cheese. I don't have any parmesan, so I've just put like grated cheese in there and put it in the microwave, hoping it will. Melt. Hey guys, it is dinner time. Beans just whipped up some tacos now. I I feel really weird because Dean's cooked a lot this week, but I've been working so much. I've put on some cheese taco shells. So they are just cooking away. They're nearly ready, I think. I haven't made these in ages and they're like a bit hot and I've tried to do them and they haven't really worked well. But anyway, this is what they'll be with, um, what's this, carrot and uh, mint and lettuce and cheese as well. Okay, so that is the end of keto day six. One more day left before the weigh-in. I feel like it's going really, really well. Oh, I know you lose so much water weight in your first week, but I'm really excited to see how much weight I've lost. These are the peonies that we picked. We got 20 of them and they are so 
pretty. I love them so much. So pretty. I'll take some to work tomorrow too. I have just been editing already what I have in the vlog and it's like 33 minutes long. So I'm really sorry. I hope you guys like a long vlog. I love long vlogs because I can get ready and, you know, watch them and listen to them and everything. I don't know how you guys feel about it. Let me know. I don't know what I'm going to do about Vlogmas still. I'm really nervous about it to be honest and it's fast approaching. Um, but yeah, I'll see you tomorrow. Good morning guys. Bye. It is day seven. Oh, kiddo. I have breakfast here. It's fried eggs uh, with the runny yolk. Mm. Very well done. And uh, then the bacon as well. And just a cup of tea. No rind. Oh, you took my rind up. Oh. I swear I did that. Oh. <laughs> I actually woke up late today because Dean went to the gym and I didn't set an alarm. And I woke up like half an hour later than what I should. So I'm just like, I don't have time. So um, Dean's cooked for breakfast. Hey guys, I am home from work. It's going out for dinner with Dean and his dad. I got like this voucher for my birthday um, that gives us like a free meal. And we love going to this place. I'll show you what I get for dinner. For lunch, I just had the leftover pasta um, exactly like I had yesterday, but I forgot to put cheese on it. And then I had some cashew nuts and I've been like really hungry today. Hey guys, just got back from dinner. I completely forgot to vlog. I have a picture of my meal. So I got an eye fillet steak with garlic butter and vegetables. I was so hungry that I started chopping it up and like trying to melt the garlic butter. So that's why the photo looks like it does. <laughs> Maybe I'd already taken a bite, but it was delicious. It was so yum. I don't know what I've eaten, but I am so bloated. Incredible incredibly bloated. I don't know if it's water retention or something that I've eaten. Like, I honestly don't know, but I feel so sick and my stomach has been making the worst gurgling noises all day. And I think I forgot to let you know that that smoothie that I had yesterday in the morning, I don't know if it was that, but it went straight through me. I will check in tomorrow for my weigh-in. Uh, I'm like really excited to see how much I've lost because I know I've lost wait i i know it even my face seems like less puffy like it was just puffy before i will see you tomorrow for my week one check-in <laughs> wish me luck <laughs> hey guys so you saw how much weight i lost Dean, how much weight do you think that I lost in my first week on keto? 10 grams. 10 grams. I don't know, kilo. A kilo, is that your final guess? Yeah, a kilo. I'll go lock in a kilo. I lost two. Two kilos? Yeah. Oh, shit. First week. That's all right. Yeah. Coco's pretty excited about it. She's going to lose a couple of grams. <laughs> she just went outside and had some grass, so she'll vomit, so we put her in the laundry. Yeah. Well, yeah. that's really good. Well done. Thank you. Pat on the back for you, mate. <laughs> yeah, so pretty excited about the uh, two kilo weight loss. I guess that's it for week one of keto. Um, I'll do another week, but it's gonna cross over into Vlogmas, which I still haven't figured out what I'm doing yet. I'm really, really happy with the two kilos, and obviously I understand that it's going to be a lot of water weight, but it also is a reflection of me like not eating any processed food or shit or anything like I've been eating the past couple of months, so. Anyway, I feel really good. Didn't have too many keto flu symptoms. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to see more keto related videos, don't forget to thumbs up and um, I'll see you next time. Bye.